So Gaia says there is a spur road here. We just turned down this little spur road. It says there's a clearing at the end, so we're gonna drive down and see what we can find. So the spur road turned out to be a dead end. Uh, there is a turnaround at the end of the spot or end of the road, but it is right out in the sun, wide open, and in mid-June we would cook. So we are back on the forest road, headed to check out another spot. Thursday afternoon, we are headed northeast on a forest road in the Francis Marion National Forest. We have been here a couple times before, but uh, each time that we've come here, most of the forest roads have been closed because it was uh, hunting season at some time. Um, it is not hunting season now, so we're out exploring. We are holed up in the Francis Marion National Forest. Uh, just outside of Charleston, South Carolina. And when I say we're holed up, I mean we are holed up because we can't move because the mosquitoes and the deer flies are so bad. Um, I've never experienced anything quite like this. We're running two thermocells. Uh, one will not cut it, and they are only about five or six feet apart. Those things are supposed to be good for 15 meter radius, but they're so bad, like I said, you gotta have two. Uh, the only reason I'm not swarmed right now is because I have a thermocell at my feet. Um, we tried going for a hike, and just to try to put it in perspective, just walking down the trail, the mosquitoes were hitting your, your legs. I was wearing shorts and mosquitoes hitting the legs, and just, I mean, you can feel them as you're just walking, they're just slamming into your legs. There's like a cloud of them and it made it nearly miserable. So we're held up at the camp because we can't leave outside the camp. If I walk outside the perimeter of the thermocells, they immediately, I mean, they're on you like white on rice. Um, so we're getting out of here in the morning. The forecast calls for rain tonight. So we're packing up most everything. So all we have to do is get up and close the camper and get on the road.
It is mid-morning and we took it easy this morning, had a cup of coffee and just kind of enjoyed the cool morning, uh, nearly mosquito free from our last couple of days. We were just inundated with mosquitoes and yellow flies, but we're in the Sumter National Forest in Brick House Campground. This is a nice primitive campground. There is about 20 sites here, two pit toilets, uh, no running water, of course, no electricity. Since it is primitive, there's nice picnic tables, uh, lantern posts, if anybody still uses those anymore. Um, last night, uh, a couple people came in after we were here, right close to dark. But uh, other than that, it's been very, very quiet. We slept pretty well. Uh, even the U.S. Forest Service Ranger came by this morning to ask us how we were doing. Uh, super nice guy. But uh, we're going to get out from this campground and go do some exploring. are still in the Sumter National Forest and this is Sadia I think it's how you pronounce that I may be wrong campgrounds another little primitive semi-primitive campground uh, looks like there are about four or five sites uh, looks like there's a group site for like if scouts wanted to come or something like that and it is apparently the end of the Palmetto Trail uh, the Palmetto Trail starts at Buck Hall, which is near McClellanville in the Francis Marion Forest, which is where we were a few days ago. Uh, you can walk it or bike it, apparently. There was a nice gentleman here, apparently with the Forest Service, to just let us know that you know this is the end of it or the beginning. If you start here, you can go the other way. It goes by two or three lakes. There's a nice bridge he says you can walk through. Um, one thing that we do like about this campground, even though it's small, is there's water. So we're going to take that opportunity and top off our water, which you should always do when you find water, top off whatever water you need. And uh, we're going to keep on exploring because it is a bit early. It is only about 1.30, uh, but we're going to mark this as a waypoint for perhaps another visit.